How's it going? Coming to you live from my super toasty car. I figured I would bring you guys another thrifting video because I haven't done one in a hot sec and I'm back on my regular turf where I grew up thrifting. Today I'm gonna go thrifting with my friend Grace, who some of you guys may know. Also, I'm super stoked because this video is in partnership with Pop Sockets. So, thanks to Pop Sockets for sponsoring this video. Basically, Pop Sockets has this new swappable pop top grip. It has like different graphics and designs that you can easily switch out based on like your mood and your outfit or just, you know, what you're feeling that day. So, you don't have to remove the entire grip. You just switch out the top, which is really convenient. I personally like switching these out because I get really bored of what I have really quickly. I like to keep the design moving and switching based on just, yeah, how I'm feeling. So check out the new swappable pop tops and pop grips, only available at popsockets.com. Make sure to check out their different social channels like their Instagram to kind of see like what designs are available and sign up for their email list to check out when new things are coming out. So yeah, make sure you do at popsockets.com to check out these swappable grips right here. So yeah, without further ado, let's go uh, thrift and see what we can find. Greetings from the thrift store. Yeah. Look who it is. Grace is back. Everybody's favorite. I think I get the most comments about Grace than anybody else. And yes, she does look like Zoe the Ditch Dutch. Yep. Or whatever. That's what they tell me. <laughs> but we're thrifting right now. I'm kind of looking for cold ish weather clothes because I'm about to go back to New York. She's apparently looking for baby clothes and fabric. And fabric. So if you're a sewer like Grace, if that's, is that the right term? A sewer? Sure. <laughs> Someone that says a Because wait, look at, can we show the overalls? She made these yesterday. Like, hello. <laughs> She's the cutest person I know. Grace is gonna be an aunt, and look at these cute little items. It's giving me baby fever, except not at all, because being a mom terrifies yeah, me anytime soon, but off. cute. <laughs> these are like genuine look like mom, mom jeans, jeans, but for a baby. <laughs> oh my god, the little pinstripe. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> You're gonna be the cutest aunt. much more curated a thrift store. Um, I didn't find anything in the first thing. Grace found some cute baby clothes and fabric. <laughs> so she succeeded. So now we're at more of like a vintage store than a thrift store. Okay, so I've got quite a few items that I'm trying on now at the second thrift store. So I dig this. I kind of feel like this is something like a like 12 year old boy would wear in the 70s. Um, I think this white stitching is so sick. It's cute with this fit. Like this in itself is a look. Okay, this is another top I'm super into. These buttons are super unique and it has this like white mesh sleeves. Okay, I found this Alexander Wang jumpsuit for only $30, which is nuts, but it's literally the least <laughs> for fitting thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I look like I'm just a beanstalk just all the way down. Hi, hello. How's it going? I'm back. I'm currently in my parents' house in Orange County. If anybody notices a change of background, I mean, I feel like I'm moving constantly. Today I'm going to show you guys a few fun items that I picked up over the last few months. So let's just jump on into this. So one of the items I got when I was with Grace is this little number right here. They are these fun plaid pants. I'm obsessed with pants that have like fun patterns like this. I got these at the vintage store and they were $15. 
um, which are definitely not like thrift store prices, but since it's vintage, it's like a little bit more curated, but it's still a great price if you compare it to like Urban or Topshop or anything like that. I'm super into this like green and blue pattern with the baby little flare on the bottom, which is a look I'm definitely into. Flares are my one true love. When I have bottoms that are like a funkier pattern, I usually gravitate towards a more monochromatic top. Or you can stick with the color theme and wear something within this like kind of cool color shade just to have like a funkier outfit. I personally think I will pair it with a like band tee of sorts. It's just like white and black pattern. I feel like that would look sick and very like kind of 90s-esque. So yeah, big fan of these guys. The next item I picked up with Grace is this number right here. I loved this because of these buttons on the front are just so rad. They're like these roses and then it has this really sick detailing with these mesh sleeves. When I tried it on, I was kind of picturing myself wearing it to like a little like fancy dinner in New York. Kind of more of like a night outfit, like wearing it out on the town with some like black jeans. So stoked on this. All right. Just wait, I'm very excited about this item. This was also from a vintage store um, where, so it wasn't like the cheapest, it was probably about $25, but I'm obsessed. I've been really into animal prints recently, like snake skin, cow skin, all faux of course. Oh, it's a new thing, maybe I'm just sticking with the trends as the kids do, um, but you know, I'm into it. I'm into it. Basically this really rad snakeskin jacket. It's got this like trench coat vibe to it where it's like long and it's waterproof. It's not super thick, so it's not like very, very warm, but I just am obsessed with it. I love statement pieces, as I said earlier, just because you can take a simple outfit and just like throw in one really sick item, whether it be a coat or a pair of pants or a really rad pair of boots, and it just takes the outfit to like an entire another level. So love this. It's originally from IMG, so if you want to pick it up for yourself, you can. Um, I'm pretty sure some places still sell it or that might be on Depop. I will try to link it down below if I find it or if I find something similar. Actually, I'll try to do it with all these pieces. I'll try to find dupes if you're interested. I'm just gonna put them in the description. So yeah, loving this Toronto girl, just sassy and cool. That's not that, okay. Okay, next is a classic, a basic, something I feel like everybody should have in their wardrobe. And that is just a pair of classic Levi mom jeans. Definitely recommend trying to thrift a pair of mom jeans rather than spending a ton of that like ton of money for them online because most thrift stores usually have some used mom jean style. Um, pro tip is also check the guys section because a lot of times the style that's considered the mom jeans is also the style that the guys have. At least I don't know. I've definitely found cool jeans that I like in the men's section. It's worth checking out. These literally go great with everything. So this is the last top. I am the biggest sucker for just a like simple white button down blouse. I think they go great with everything. Like this pair of mom jeans would be so cute. And then most importantly, this detailing, I was like, um, are you kidding me? I am so down for that. When I go thrifting, I always look for something that has like a little bit of that unique flair. That's kind of the beauty of thrifting is finding pieces that like no one else has. And I don't know, this just felt very unique and rad to me. And then this is the final piece, which is probably one of my favorite. Favorites. I got this off Depop and I've always been super into Depop. I've sold stuff on Depop, but I personally have been kind of intimidated to shop for myself on Depop just because there's like endless options and I like don't ever know like where to even start. But I like specifically had in my head that I wanted an animal print purse. And so I Googled like cow print purse and this popped up and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Give me it immediately. Take all my money. Whenever I wear it, I feel like singing that cow song that that girl wrote. That's so vague. That was the end of this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I also kind of missed just doing this like more casual sit down chatty video. I feel like it's been a hot sec since I've done that. So definitely also let me know what type of videos you want to see as we move into this new year, 2019. I think I want to do more kind of just casual chat, sit down videos, talking about favorites and other stuff like that. So let me know what you want to see more of. And as always, I love you guys more than you know. Thank you so much for watching. Until